the time of the year for the best themes ever. So for the past few weeks, I've been gathering a list of themes so I can share it with you guys. I hope you like this video. My last theme video did really well. Although not many people liked and subscribed, but it did really well. It had around 3000 views, so I'm very happy with that. In this video, I wanted to show more VS Code themes, but this time I wanted to show unusual VS Code themes. And by unusual, I mean just the colors are crazy. Just It's just, it's different to what we're used to. So in here, I'm gonna show you the five best unusual VS Code themes. So let's get started. So the first theme I want to share with you guys is called Tokyo Hack. So I'm gonna change my theme here to Tokyo Hack. And I don't need to explain anything. I don't need to tell you anything. You can see for yourself. It looks absolutely amazing. It is really nice. Um, if we go through files and you know, it's really interesting background. It's almost, it's purple with a lot of crazy uh, vibrant colors. So this one is my favorite theme. And I think I used it for a couple of months, but I think at nighttime it's, it's a bit too bright for me to, to work with. So I usually go for something a bit lighter than that. So the next theme is called Radical. And as you can see here, it has almost like a, a Tron kind of uh, look. I don't know if you've seen that movie, but the cars are usually like... Uh, you know, they have these lines around them. It's, it looks perfect. It looks absolutely amazing. It might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I think it looks really stunning. And, you know, this is just a look through different files. And, yeah, it looks really nice, guys. And just open up different files for you so you can see. And, by the way, the font I'm using is Dank Mono. Uh, in case you're wondering. Okay. So we go for the third one. The third one, and if you can see me, if you see me looking to the side, I'm actually look, I have them written down. So, yeah. The next one is called Cyberpunk, and this one almost similar to the first one. It's purpley. There's something about this. Uh, it's it's nice, but not for me. Um, there's you know every time I look at it, I actually feel sick. I'm I'm not even kidding. Yeah, the green. Uh, <laughs> The green border here, or the green footer, makes me feel sick. It's just, I don't know, I'm allergic to some colors, or I don't know. But I think it looks pretty good, and it's very unusual theme to, to be working with. And I decided to have it in my list anyways. And this is what the different files look like. Um, open some JS file, and it looks pretty cool, I think. Okay, so the next one, the next one is called Active Umbra Protocol. So I'm gonna open it up here. And now this is the other one. Oops. So this is what the Active Umbra Protocol looks like. Again, it's dark, it has some green uh, footer, green sidebar, uh, green text. And this is what the different files look like. I think it looks pretty cool. It's nice, nice theme, nice colors to work with. Okay, so the next one, and it's the last one, is called Active Scarlet Protocol, which is what we enabled before this one. So Active Scarlet Protocol. Now this one, it is red, and I mean a lot of red in there. So <laughs> it's nice. I think the font in some of the files it looks, or the color of the font, in some of the files it looks pretty cool um, I think it's for you know something to work with you can work with it uh, it's not it's not an issue but it is a lot of red and it might not be everyone's um, you know everyone's style but you can try it for a little bit and see how it is um, I think this is one of the uh, coolest themes as well but like I said, it is too much red and it might be too much for your eyes, especially at night time. So you might, you might want to use it maybe during the day or in the afternoon. This was five of the most unusual themes. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again in the next video.